I don't know what the purpose of this Quiet Place Day 1 was. I'm going to preface this by saying that I did enjoy the first two movies. The concept of a quiet place has always been very intriguing. Navigating this world where you can't make any noise or else the monsters, alien space monsters, will come and just get you. We've already been through all of this and now they have the prequel. Every other movie that comes out now is like a prequel. It's supposed to be about the first day these aliens landed on Earth and how humanity reacted to that. And specifically in New York, for the most part, this movie was good. It was a good movie. It was a good story, a heartfelt, emotional story. But at the same time, I feel like it didn't really add much to the franchise. It didn't expand on the lore of the monsters. It didn't really feel like it fit anywhere in the whole Quiet Place universe. It just felt like a side story. It would be a good standalone movie by itself, but it feels kind of extra. It feels like it was unnecessary. There was nothing new about this movie. We didn't learn anything that we didn't already know except maybe like one scene. The main characters in this movie are new. We're not following John Krasinski, Emily Blunt. We're not following that family anymore. I expected to see more of like how humanity reacted to the initial the initial invasion but they didn't really show much of that. Sam, the main character played by Lupita Nyong'o, kind of faints very early on and she just wakes up and everyone already knows we need to be quiet. That was already a lesson that was learned very quickly by almost everyone. Nothing was presented in this movie that was new. We do get to see the monsters a lot more. They're everywhere in the city. They crawl around. They come in packs. I was pretty glad it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be because I'm pretty adverse to jump scares. I don't really like horror, so this was this was okay for me. But anyway, this whole story, Lupita Nyong'o's character, Sam, she is a terminally ill cancer patient. One day, the nurse convinces her to go back into the city with them to see a puppet show. She doesn't really want to go, but then she She's like, if I go to the city, I can get pizza. And specifically this one pizza parlor, this pizza place that her dad used to take her to. He used to play the piano. He played beautiful piano and he played at this jazz club. Every time that he finished playing, they would go to the pizza shop next door and they would get pizza. And that was like her best childhood memory. And she holds on to it dearly. The invasion happens. These aliens on meteors, they just drop from the sky. It's not a new scene because even in A Quiet Place, I think it was A Quiet Place Part too, we already kind of saw a glimpse of these meteors falling from the sky. They land and then they're screaming. There's like explosions, ashes in the air. You can't really see much. And then she kind of just faints. She blacks out. The moment she wakes up, everyone's already kind of shh thing where it's like, you can't make noise or else they're going to come and get you. That was day one. That could have been, <laughs> that could have been the end of the movie. The first thing the government does in New York is burn the bridges. <laughs> okay. They, they bombed the bridges. It is strange because they learned very early on that these monsters can't swim. Apparently the military just knew right away they can't swim. And so that's why they're burning the bridges. Later on, they're like, okay, we're going to have like these rescue boats save the rest of the people who are stuck on the island. It was kind of weird that they knew that the monsters couldn't swim like so early. Like day one, monsters can't swim. I'm like, how did you, how did you know that? Maybe, maybe there's going to be like a secret. Later on, we're going to find out that the government already knew about this. I don't know. Okay. It doesn't make sense. To be honest, A Quiet Place has always had like a lot of plot holes. Like if you really think about it, these aliens don't make sense. A lot of the stuff doesn't make sense, but we're going to let that slide because a Quiet Place has always been about the human story. So instead of like trying to escape, she's like, well, now it gives me more of a reason to go and have that pizza from that pizza shop that I had as a child. This is actually my last chance, which also like I didn't get because I'm just like, even if it wasn't the end of the world, let's say this story did not take place in a quiet place universe. You're still dying from cancer. Like you still need to, if you do want to eat that pizza before you die, you should probably go as soon as possible. I don't know. They wanted to make this like apocalypse kind of give her a sense of urgency, but I'm like, the cancer is already the source of urgency. Like, why did you need the end of the world to like do that? And so instead of escaping, she's trying to, she's on foot with her cat. It was cute to see a cat. I mean, I'm allergic to cats, so I'm like not a cat person, but it was a cute cat and I was glad that the cat was safe. And along the way, she meets this other guy. This guy named Eric. He's 
British. He's in New York for law school, so he's like far away from home. I think he has some PTSD or some some anxiety issues because he gets really nervous. I don't know if he was like nervous around the monsters or if he was nervous around water. Like, I don't know what his deal was. We didn't really learn too much about him. Mostly this whole story was about Sam. They're kind of like strangers meeting as friends, finding a friend at the end of the world. I don't know. I feel like I've read a lot of stories that are kind of like this where you just have two people kind of build a bond and it's like the end of the world but like their friendship is kind of out of the blue but it works and it's pretty emotional of course when they get to the pizza shop it's already like burnt down like it's gone i'm just like i don't really know <laughs> why she expected the pizza shop to still be operating at that point i'm just like the world is in a state of emergency and you're expecting this pizza shop to not be shut down emotionally this movie did well i liked the story and i liked the message it was trying to send but other than that, I'm just like, you know, it could have happened in a different world. Like, it didn't have to be a quiet place. I thought these monsters like to take out things that made sound because they don't like noise. They just like the quiet. But then it's just like when they move around, they make a lot of noise. So I'm just like, y'all are really loud for monsters that hate sound. They're blind, so they can't see. They have to rely on their hearing. But... Any organism that relies on hearing that uses echolocation, they don't need their prey to make sound to locate the prey. Nothing in this really makes sense if you think about it. So I guess it's not about that. She was on the verge of death and now she finally got to live one last time before she died and she went out on her own terms. But then now I think about it and I'm like, okay, yeah, that was a good emotional movie, but now what? What are we gonna do with A Quiet Place? I know there's gonna be A Quiet Place Part 3 coming and I think that's more related to the first two movies. I hope eventually we'll see the humans defeat these aliens. I don't know if we'll ever really find out their purpose or if there's like a higher intelligent species that's controlling them or using them for something. There's a lot of potential for this, I guess, because they haven't explained any of the lore. When you throw in like these alien creatures, they kind of steal the show, right? If we're not supposed to care about the aliens, I don't really want to think about them, but they're like there and they stand out. When I was first introduced to the Quiet Place franchise, it was a pretty unique concept and everything. And but now like three movies in it's just like okay where are we going with this <laughs> like where are we going this is like the first quiet place movie that made me question like what the point of all of this is because i keep watching these movies and i'm just like i'm not getting answers to all of these questions that i'm asking so i don't know if i'm just asking the wrong questions or maybe they just don't want to tell me 